Hello everyone, welcome to the chess world. Today I am going to analyze a famous game between Bobby Fischer and Mikhail Tal. This tournament was played in Blade Jagreb, Belgrade in 1959. So let's start the game. Fischer had white pieces and Tal had black pieces. Fischer started with e4. Tal played c5. Fischer played knight to f3. Tal played d6. Fischer played d4, striking in the center. C captures d4. Knight captures d4. Black played knight to f6, attacking the e4 pawn. Fischer defended with knight to c3, defending white's pawn on e4. Black played a6. Fischer played bishop to c4, attacking the f7 pawn. Black played e6 and we have Sicilian defense, shavening and variation. White played bishop to b3. Black played b5. Here black's threat is to play b4 and captures white pawn on e4. Fischer ignored the threat and played f4. Tal continued his idea and played b4. Knight moved to a4 and black captured the e4 pawn. Fischer castled on the king side and here black played pawn to g6 making room for his dark square bishop and preparing for castling on the king side. If white allows black to castle then Black will have a comfortable game and white will be a pawn down for no reason. So here white played pawn to f5. G takes f5 and knight takes f5. Now if black takes the knight on f5 then white will have an amazing tactics. If you want, you can pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Let's check this variation. E takes on f5 and then white has this queen d5. Threatening checkmate on f7 and also attacking black's rook on a8. If black's if black decides to prevent the checkmate by playing bishop to e6 then white will capture black's rook on a8 so white will win this game and it's not possible so if black wants to prevent the checkmate by playing the rook on a7 then white has this amazing queen to d4 attacking both the rook on a7 and uh, h8 so after knight takes on f5 Black played rook to g8 and Fischer played bishop to d5 attacking black's rook on a8. Black rook moved to a7. Fischer captured the knight on e4. e takes on f5. Bishop takes on f5. Black rook moved to e7 Fischer captured the light square bishop on c8 queen takes on c8 Fischer played bishop to f4 attacking the d6 pawn black played queen to c6 threatening checkmate on g2 and also attacking white's knight on a4 Fischer prevented the checkmate with queen f3 and Tal captured the knight on a4. Bishop takes on d6 
queen to c6 bishop takes on b8 queen to b6 check and after king h king to h1 fisher captured the bishop on b8 queen c6 check black played the rook on d7 blocking the check rook a2 e1 checking the black king bishop to e7 preventing the check rook takes on f7 now if black takes the rook on f7 queen will take the rook on d7 and that is what exactly happened in the game king takes on f7 queen to e6 check king to f8 preventing black's rook on g8 queen takes on d7 threatening checkmate on e7 queen to d6 queen to b7 rook to g6 c3 and we have a5 queen c8 check king to g7 queen c4 and black played bishop to d8 c takes on b4 a takes on b4 and fisher played g3 queen c6 check and also attacking the queen rook to e4 preventing the check and also supporting the queen on c4 queen takes on c4 rook takes on c4 and rook to b6 preventing black pawn on b4 king to g2 king to f6 king to f3 king to e5 king to e3 and bishop b5 check king to e2 king to d5 attacking white's rook king to d3 preventing white's rook bishop f6 rook to c2 bishop e5 and rook to e2 rook to f6 rook to c2 rook to f3 check king to e2 not allowing white black to play rook f2 check rook to f7 king to d3 and bishop to d4 pawn to a3 and black played b3 rook goes to c8 and bishop takes on b2 rook d8 check king to c6 rook to b8 rook f3 check king to c4 rook c3 check king to b4 and we have king to c7 attacking white's rook rook goes to b5 and tal played bishop to a1 we have a4 and tal played b2 and here in this position on move 52 bobby fisher resigned the game because this b pawn will become the queen and white will have to give up his rook to prevent this pawn to becoming a queen if fisher played king takes on c3 this pawn will be promoted to queen and white will have no time to capture the queen because uh, this bishop is delivering the check to the white king and if white decides to play king to a5 then tal will play rook to c1 and white will have to give up his rook and black will win this game easily so thank you for watching this video this is an amazing game between two legends if you like my video 
please do like comment and share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you